All right, fuzz pie guy here. I'm gonna show you how to hook one of these 16 by twos I2C screens up to a Raspberry Pi to show you the temperature of the CPU and GPU using four wires. So what you need to do is hook the following wires up to your Raspberry Pi, the SCL, SDA, five volts and ground. Once you have that hooked up, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, I'm SSH into the pod now. But the first thing you need to do is make sure you go in and turn on the uh, I2C. Once I get there, so you need to come down here to number five and make sure I2C is enabled, which it is. Then we'll just hit select and finish, and tab. <clears throat> After that, you're going to need to make a file, and you can call this whatever. I went ahead and made one already. I made it uh, nano temp dot py. So then we'll put the following code in. I'll paste this in the description or something. And once you do that, we just need to save it. Control X, Y, then enter. And we need to do the same thing for uh, the uh, is i2c underscore lib py and the LCD driver py. <clears throat> Make files for them and paste in the uh, thing. Now, one thing you need to make sure is you have your driver your address, I mean, set to the right number. And our screen is 27. So, we'll get out of that. So, so once you have that set up, we need to install the following um, things. So we need to install Python dash SM bus space get space I2C dash tools, which I already have this installed. But once that is done, what we can do now is go into your Chrome tab because we want this to start up automatically during boot. At the bottom, we'll just add at reboot space python space forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash temp dot py space in the and sign. Do a control x y enter for that. And what we'll do is we'll do a sudo reboot. And uh, we'll see this uh, restart, but I'm gonna turn mine off so you can actually see it come on, so so you know it works. So let me unplug it. Let me plug it back in here. Try. Try to do this with one hand. Don't work out too well. All right, so it's coming back on. And there you go. <clears throat> now, one other thing. Um, let me get back into this. 
I'll show you here. Now, one other thing you can do is in the in the file, if you change this number here, as you can see, it changes uh, in between the updates for the seconds. So, all right, that's it. I'll post everything or try to post everything in the description or whatnot. So, thanks for watching.